Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right, it's Double Deuce back. Tonight, we're going to talk about the new Toyin V8. Um, been a little controversy there, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Um, <clears throat> you see, we got the Sisson V8. This is actually around a one-fifth scale. The Toyin, they say, is one-tenth. I think it's a little bigger. Um, this is the new Toyin L400 gas version. Um, you know, it's like they're getting things right. But, unfortunately, you know, it takes time. So, anyways, grab your favorite smoke, beverage, and popcorn, and I will tell you what I know about the new Toyin V8. All right. Now, this is from Sterling Kit's website. Tells you about the new Mini V8 28cc gas version. Now, it's on special for $7.99. Oh, let's see. It was on here a while ago. Yeah, until like mid December. But it is a pre order. So, let's zoom in. On this screen right here, let's go way down to the bottom. It's normally $9.99, which is still, what, 700 bucks cheaper than the first Toyin V8. So here we go. Oh, 18 hours. Oh, we got to get there quick. Now I'm looking at this engine. I don't know if that's the carb that's going to come on it. Because that's the carb it was developed with through, um, I guess, a collaborative effort with another engine company out there. Now, it does have an intake manifold. The starter is still underneath the intake manifold, like the North Star engines, the Toyin engine, you know. But it does have a, a gear down for the flywheel for it to start, which means it turns slower. Now these are all like IA computer uh, generated photos, but I see there's a nipple here, there's one in the front. And then as you go down, you'll see, that's that, this, that. Johnny Q90s. And let's try to get to the poop of it. Now you'll see here, it's got better cooling. It's got two water pumps on the front of the block. Now I take it this down here could be an oil pump. I don't know. There's no information about this engine whatsoever. But this is the only one that I know. I'll put it this way. I've done many many months of research on this engine alone and this is the only one in existence today so whether they're going to start processing this engine i don't know um <laughs> the price you know this is their previous stuff and you know what gets me some of these did not run right out of the box they did not run so that that's kind of messed up but more computer generated stuff now they do have the starter kit now I don't know if this is on top of you know the you know the I guess you could say the 799 it's like I don't know if it's a or not I, I they contacted me on Friday night I emailed them back and said we've been working on this for a long time and I have a kit waiting and ready for this thing to go so let's get to this right here first off i'm going to answer this question how long does shipping take okay now let's go over here best offer ever early bird price 7.99.99 800 bucks all right now it's in pre-order state which means it's not built yet it takes 60 days for them to build these engines. 
and that's not putting them together. <laughs> that's just like building them. Now, they will be sent out in January of 2025. I don't know, you know, like the deal will be available until December 13th. So that's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I don't know many people that can come up with 800 bucks in that amount of time in today's economy. But, you know, the I guess the, the people that have money will do it. Um, but a lot of people that have money have walked away from these engines. And it's kind of weird. They went back like 40 years ago to those engines that don't exist no more. So I, I, I'm confused on this whole thing. This is the future of our future right here because those old engines are going to run out one day and nobody's going to be able to even touch one because they're going to keep getting more and more and more expensive as they become more and more popular. So, you know, it's like uh, some of the old school guys really need to pay it forward to the younger crowd, in my personal honest opinion. Um, you know, because like this is the future of the hobby. If you guys want to kill the hobby off with your old school stuff, that's fine. But we will, we will arise again. So don't worry, because this is what's going to, this is all we're going to have in the future. So now, <laughs> this here. It's a warm tip, okay. Great quality takes time. I hope they really mean that because it's crafted with care to deliver exceptional performance. It takes 60 days to produce for, you know, for any questions or advice, don't hesitate to email us. Um, will you get an email back? I don't know. But that is the most important thing that I wanted to point out tonight right here is it's going to take at least until probably February or later before this gets built because I've seriously I'm gonna put one in a kit um, I still have the old toy in V8 um, and you guys know as well as I do I, I cranked that thing to over 14,000 RPMs almost 15 and the blew the rods right out of it but it was a long duration run it ran for a long time at wide open throttle before it disintegrated. And the reason I do that is because Nichols Engineering back in the old days, um, when you see all those wing cars on NASCAR, the Superbirds, the Daytona Chargers with the big wings on them, um, they used to line up a truckload of their engines right from Chrysler and put them on dynos and kick them out wide open throttle, get them all running, and then go to the lunch for an hour. And the ones that were running when they came back were the ones that worked. So not every engine is perfect. Even though they still built from the same parts, they're not a perfect engine. It all depends on one little whim, one little problem, something small. So, you know, it's like, now, you know, it's going to take about six hours to assemble this engine from what I read here. Um, and they tell you everything you need to know right on the Sterling Kit website. And I'm going to put a link down for this so you guys can read everything at the bottom here. They tell you what payments you accept. You can track your order. They do international shipping. What's the maximum speed of the engine? Let's check that out because I'd like to know because I did... Around, I think, uh, 14, 7, I think was my highest. And now it's a gas engine, so it's, it's limited down. My engine was nitro, and I hogged out the intake manifold. I did a lot of alterations on that engine. So right now, with a maximum speed of 8650, and if it's reliable, it stays running, you can do a lot with this engine in your RC car project. And um, like I say, it's just, uh, you know, gas is very expensive in China. You need permits to get it. That's why they don't do many of them. However, get, or nitro is super expensive in Europe. 
and you can only get a certain amount of octane level in your um, nitro so you know it's just uh, you know it's a matter of what you need of where you live so nothing's perfect here but anyways uh, anything you need to know is on the website here and I will try to find out as much more as I can um, that guy looks like a tool bag right there what do you think is that a tool bag I think he's a tool bag but we got some great builds from all the other engines here and we have some that did not run so I don't know this new toy in V8 is supposed to be like the I guess uh, the L400 now this I've, I've seen this video a year ago before it even went to this place so let's play it and these choke I'm not a fan of the headers I'm really not imagine a lot of you have seen this now if you look here you'll see the cooling is pumped in here and comes up there so you know and that was it for the video so anyways now I'll come back to me what do you think is it worth it it is seriously um, the Sisson V8 is probably for looks scale functionality is one of my favorite engines today and no matter how bad my day is I roll home I fire it up put the smile on my face however the twin V8 are they're evolving so I don't know there's a lot of mixed parts between this engine and that engine so you know we won't know until later down the road but I've been trying to find everything I can to give to you guys about this purchase I mean 800 bucks and the original one like I said was 1800 you know I don't know but it's only 28 cc's that's 44 you know I mean what do you need it for what do you want to put it in you know it's like uh you want a shelf display you want something to run on your desk a petrol sharpener anything like that you can do that but if you want to put it in an RC car we need more testing we need more involvement with all these companies now because anybody can say hey I got an idea and I'm gonna put it on a CAD program and build it and then another guy says I'll get it running and the other guy says let's sell it well for what let's put something to use it's a waste of resources if these things are not functional okay which brings me to the point where a lot of guys are going back to the old school engines and don't get me wrong they were really epic in the day but they're outdated and they're they're only gonna last so long so these things here are the future of tomorrow and I've done a lot with toy and builds a lot and I've made them functional um, Steve from RC tanks and trucks 24 7 so is he and Steve my buddy in Britain you know black alley mass he's come up he's fine-tuned the old-school high Revan Toyin L400 in a kit that it just blows your mind to hear this thing go um, you know it's like it takes time to process things it takes time to work out problems um, I get a lot of questions and and some of them I can't even answer and I apologize for that um, there's so many people out there that get these 
they're not schooled on how some things work sometimes. They can't read, they can't understand their directions. And sometimes I can't either. But I just, I figure it out by the seat of my pants. And uh, so, you know, don't be scared. Never be scared. But anyways, guys, like I say, if you want, <laughs> I don't want you to blow up my page, but you can, you can put down your thoughts in the comments below for the new toy in V8 engine. And I know first 700 comments are going to be the haters. So keep an open mind because the way I see it is the worst idea in the world was never brought to the table and produced. Okay, that's the worst idea in the world. All these other ideas that come out here between all these engines, we can work with them. We can figure them out. And everybody's doing a great job. Who has a positive attitude to do it so like i say anyways love to all like share subscribe if you want tell your friends and i'll be back with more content when i find out more about the new toy in v8 i'll get an email back from them over in china and we'll go from there so love to all later bye